Hello everybody, Andrea here. So let's talk about the quality assurance exam. What a lot of people think they know about the quality assurance exam, that's actually not true. So what a lot of dental hygienists have been asking me is how to study for it, what's it like, tell me more about that exam. So it's not like the board exam. So the quality assurance exam that you take with the CDHO as part of your audit is not like the board exam, meaning if you buy a textbook, that probably won't help you because what you'll end up doing is studying from that textbook, getting very overwhelmed, you get fed up, you don't want to study anymore, and then you didn't really learn anything. What the quality assurance exam is basically about is what the CDHO wants you to know. And to be perfectly honest, there's a lot of questions on that exam that you'll never have to know and you would never have come across in your dental hygiene career, but that's what exams are about. They try to trick you, basically. It's multiple choice, as I'm sure you all knew that, and two answers are always going to be correct, but you have to pick the most correct answer. Think about things like what does the CDHO want you to know and what does the CDHO really want you to focus on? So for example, let's talk about fluoride. If they're talking about a fluoride gel, a, a fluoride foam, a fluoride mouthwash, they want you to know fluoride varnish is the be all and end all. That's the best thing to use. It has the best uptake of the enamel because the purpose of fluoride is anti-cavity basically, right? So if they're talking about a fluoride gel, a fluoride foam in the answer, that might not be the right answer because they want you to know that fluoride varnish is the way to go. So you basically have to take everything you know as a dental hygienist and then some. But if you're just studying from a textbook be careful. As I said, you will get very overwhelmed and you'll take the exam and say, what did I just do? I have no idea. I fully suggest looking at our dental hygiene manual. It was offline for a while. I think it's back online now from what somebody told me, but go through that. Things like ethics, professionalism, go through infection control, sterilization, as I said, go through the fluorides, go through your assessment phase, dental hygiene diagnosis, planning, implementation, evaluation. They want you to know things like that. If you need help, I do have a course link for you. I'll put that down below. I teach you guys everything you have to know for the quality assurance exam to pass. Nothing more and nothing less, meaning there won't be pages and pages and pages of things you don't have to know. There will be pages of everything you have to know. And it's organized per topic as well. So you can take your time, go through the topics, make sure you know everything inside that course, okay? You will pass if you do your homework and study everything. You don't have to worry about buying a textbook, not knowing which page to read. I do the hard work for you guys. I have gone through all the textbooks, basically, all the new textbooks. I put it all in there based on previous exams from the feedback I have been getting and what you have to know as a dental hygienist. There will be questions on the quality assurance exam that you will look at that and say, why do I have to know that? Nobody knows, you just have to know it. So I help you guys with those questions too. Plus inside the course, we will talk like this live where I, I go through mock exam questions for you. I go through the practice test for you. Look at the link be, uh, below also for the, 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 the free <laughs> practice test that I do offer for you guys. So if you're listening to this, thinking you might be prepared for the quality assurance exam, or knowing you're not prepared at all, take the free practice test, you guys. You have nothing to lose. See how you do on that. If you need help, then sign up for my quality assurance prep course and I can help you. But so basically a lot of the myths about the quality assurance exam also are that it's going to be really easy or even that it's going to be really hard. I've heard both ways. I've heard dental hygienists say it was so easy, they, did, they didn't have to study at all. Well, they're lying, okay? It doesn't matter if you have 20 years experience, three years experience. Your experience will not help you prepare for this exam. You would think it would, 
but it really doesn't because they ask you things that you don't really have to know for the real world or that you just know anyway, but you need to know specifics. Such as a perfect example is on the exam previously, they have asked about what to do if your sterilizer fails. We all know what to do. We also know to go into our policy manual to check exactly what to do per steps because we're not going to remember everything. But guess what? For the exam, you have to know step by step what to do, and they're going to ask you what the third step is. They're not going to ask you the first step. They're probably going to ask you the third or the fourth step. So unless you have those steps memorized, you will get the question wrong. Weird, right? I know. So take my course. I help you through all of that as well. I will offer you guys mock exam questions, practice questions that you will be looking at those questions and saying, I had no idea we had to know this. Well, you have to know it. So let me help you with that as well. Another common myth is that the exam is really hard and no matter how hard you study for it, you're not going to pass. Well, that's not true either. You need to study properly though. If you pick up a textbook, spend hundreds of dollars buying the newest textbook, read through that, that will not help you because that's thousands of pages. I don't even know how many pages the textbook is, but that's not going to help you because you're not focusing your studying on what you truly have to know. So let me help save you time, pass the exam before the holidays so you don't have to think about it anymore. You do have three tries to pass. They don't really say what happens if you fail, so I'm guessing nobody has failed after three attempts, but they really don't say that yet, or maybe they're still trying to work that out. So, but don't stress yourself out and, and have to fail three times before you go, okay, whoops, this isn't working for me. So you do have to study for the exam. They offer a wide variety of topics on the exam too. So you, you need to know perio, you need to know gingivitis, you need to know pharmacology, you need to know special needs, you need to know community, you need to know anesthetic. COVID policies per se are not on the exam because they make this, this exam almost a year in advance and there's four going around. So there's four different exams going around. They will ask you policies, infection control policies, but not specific to COVID because that's not fair because they made this exam a year ago before COVID happened. So maybe next year they will ask you policies and things like that. But they also do expect you to know that too. So why would they ask you questions where they know you know the answer? They're going to ask you questions that they're trying to trick you and questions that they're assuming you don't know the answer to. So I hope this doesn't stress you guys out too much, but please study for the exam. I hope these tips helped. As I said, I am more than happy to help you guys. Look at the links down below. Take my course. I am here to offer you help, support, the whole works so you can pass before the holidays. Let me know if you have any questions and I'll talk to you guys soon. Like this video, if this helped you, that would be great. And make sure to click subscribe because I do upload videos often for dental professionals and den um, students who are going to become a dental professional, dental hygienist, dental assistant, anybody. Come on in, you guys. I love to talk about dental. Thank you guys for watching. Bye for now.